Buckle up, Buttercup. I'm about to tell you three ways now you can become an automotive technician. Uh, come on, you pe- Basically, your first option is going to be trade school. So you know the, the typical schools, Wyo Tech, Universal Technical Institute, even a lot of community colleges will offer automotive classes where you can get degrees in automotive. The great thing is you're basically getting a degree. So if you show up to a shop and show them that, it's kind of a little bit more of an incentive to hire you. You're also going to be, you know, at the trade school, you're going to be learning your fundamentals, your basics, your, you know, your Ohm's law everything you need to know to kind of get started in the career. The downside is that it's a lot of debt. It's very expensive, uh, 10, 20, $30,000, just depending on where you go and what you do. If you don't know that you even like the trade or that you're gonna be good at it or that you're gonna wanna stick into it, that's a large commitment in order to just get your foot in the door. That also doesn't cover your tooling costs once you're out of school. And once you get out of school, Dealership shops are still gonna hire you as a le entry level tech. So you're gonna be doing oil changes and tires, all the basic stuff that's honestly no fun and, and not enjoyable to do. That's one way you can go. Option two is just basically going into a local shop or a dealership, finding the service manager or the owner of the shop and just seeing if they're hiring or looking for a shop helper. Uh, someone that can you know, run parts, deliver customers, sweep floors, clean toilets. Basically starting from the ground up, all you need to do is to get your foot in the door in order to be around techs that know what they're doing. And you can start asking them questions, figuring out why they're fixing this, what's broke, what typically causes that issue. And basically just getting a feel for the industry. And as time goes on, the shop owner or the manager, whoever, will start to feel more comfortable with you doing oil changes or rotating tires or doing a basic brake job. The best part about this is no debt. So you're not spending a bunch of money on education. You're getting the education and you're technically getting paid to learn. The shop is paying you to learn. Yes, you have to do, you know, shitty jobs like cleaning toilets and sweeping floors, but you're getting paid for an education in a trade. And that's how I learned. I started as a shop bitch. I was sweeping floors, cleaning toilets, cleaning the parking lot, cleaning out gutters in the shop, literally everything around the shop. But when I ran out of stuff to do, I was in the shop, talking to the technicians, learning what they're doing while they're doing it. And I slowly just started buying tools and then I got a bay and I was doing oil changes and brakes and all the basic stuff. And I slowly kept asking for harder and harder jobs and slowly started learning. I also watched a lot of YouTube and just Google stuff. So, you know, what's the typical cost for a misfire? Why would a transmission slip? How does a brake system work? How to find or what's typical causes of a, a boost leak on a turbo engine, stuff like that. And just watching those little videos helped me progress a lot faster. So that's the second way to do, and that's the way I did it. Your third option is to basically just learn on YouTube. So if you have your car, your parents' car, a friend's car, a beater in your backyard that doesn't run, just start searching on ways to fix it. So if you need to do a tune-up on your car, you need to do brakes or your valve cover's leaking, just look it up. All the information for almost every car is on YouTube. And just start practicing, start learning. Buy tools as you need them and fix. Pay attention to all the details. Make sure you're doing everything correctly. Don't shortcut anything. And just slowly progress and gain knowledge. Learn how a car works you know, your basic skills for wrenching. And then go into a shop and be honest. I can't emphasize that enough. You have to be honest. You can't tell them that you're some amazing A tech. You have to be able to just say that, you know, you want to get into the industry, you know the basics, you know how to change spark plugs, you can do brakes, but you want to learn. You want a job where you can get into this field. And the pay is not going to be great. You're not going to make a lot of money in this for the first few years. I don't think I really started making a lot of money or good money until probably like year eight of being an automotive technician. So you can't expect to make $100,000 within your first year or two, it's not gonna happen, trust me. So the other big thing that I emphasize when people wanna become automotive technicians is tools. You're gonna have to buy tools to be in this field and tools are expensive. When I started, there wasn't a lot of options for you know cheap toolboxes or really good online brands of tools. You know, I had Snap-on, Cornwell, Mac, Matco, and they all showed up at my shop, mainly Snap-on. 
I made the mistake as a dumb 19 year old to spend or finance $15,000 for basically a, a small toolbox and some basic hand tools. And now when people try to get into the trade or want to get in trade, I emphasize that you do not need to go in debt to buy tools. Buy tools as you need them and get them for cheap prices. Nobody cares what name is on the side of your tool or what stickers on your toolbox. So you don't need a snap on toolbox to look cool or professional or experienced. You don't need snap on wrenches. Go to Harbor Freight, go to Home Depot, go to strictlytoolboxes.com. Buy a nice toolbox that you can afford in cash. Go buy your wrenches from Vim. Go get your sockets from Tekton. Get anything you need that's like of good quality from Amazon even. I buy a lot of tools from Amazon. I buy a lot of tools lately from Harbor Freight. Honestly, the Icon series is really good stuff for the money. So just remember that you're gonna have to make a large investment in tools to be an automotive tech with or without an education. Just keep that in mind. But becoming an automotive tech is rewarding. You get to learn how to fix stuff. You'll always know how to fix a car for the rest of your life. It'll be a skill that comes with you wherever you go and you can make a lot of money doing it and you can support your family. Yes, there's pros and cons to the business, but all in all, it's a good trade that'll pay your bills and you'll be able to make a nice life. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions, have any more thoughts on ways to become a tech or if you want any other tips on how to become an automotive technician. But as for now, that's all I got. Thanks.